Carlos Villanueva Gomez. You sent some fire this week, I got to tell you. So I'm not going to talk too much so that you can just listen to it. But hell with it. Check it out. Like like right now, you see that one right there? Look, it's going up. It's starting to go up. It's been there for like the last 20 minutes or so. Now it's going up. And this has been going on for the last couple of days. Look, you can see it's going up and up. And I don't know what it is, but this is like some creepy, creepy shit. Now I know that um, what's going, what goes on down here at, at um, Area 51. Like camped out here for a while, and look, 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 it's moving, it's moving, it's going, it's, go, it's going in the other direction. Now you see, you see, this, this is the kind of stuff that. Oh, did you see that? It's gone. So I originally thought that this was man-made. I mean, Area 51. Of course, you know, aliens and UFOs, I would imagine, well, uh, I guess this video is proof that aliens and UFOs actually do visit uh, Area 51. But originally, I, I did think that this was man-made just because of the pulsing. I confused it with a light. Now, I, at, at some point, I did think that this was fusion energy just because, again, the craft is lit up. That's immediately how you can tell, again, in my opinion, that it is extraterrestrials because the entire craft illuminates but the pulsing kind of threw me off i can't necessarily say that i've seen a pulsing uh ufo um in this sense so i did think that it was man-made until it just took off like they do my opinion real good job jb customs 88 sent me some crazy stuff asked me if i ever seen the uh, bill clinton alien photo or reptilian so here it is, never seen it before, and I have to say I'm convinced. Now, I don't know what they're doing, I don't know where they are, and I don't know if this reptilian is purposefully um, not hiding, and that is really the main question. I can't say it enough, we already know they exist, and we already know in order for them to exist, and we have to, we have to come to the fact and the understanding that they're going to be interacting with us on a regular basis, sitting at dinner tables, sitting in, you know, rooms, just conversating about who knows what, but everything is normal and regular. We just have to come to that realization if we're going to acknowledge the fact that they are indeed real. So just the only question I have from that particular photo is, is it hiding? Or did the camera just accidentally pick up the fact that that was a reptilian or an alien? That's really the only question I have from this photo, but an amazing photo nonetheless. Stuff Galliano, an amazing submission. I appreciate your efforts. Check it out. <laughs> So this one, not going to lie, when I seen the title, seen the video, I really didn't think shit about it. When the dogs was barking, I didn't think shit about it. Just dogs barking, one bark, uh, one dog triggering another dog to bark. They're just going back and far, uh, forth, just having a good old time, went out of the cage, all that good stuff like that. Ghost pops off collar. My dog loses their collar all the time it you know unlatches whatever the case may be so i just really overall wasn't impressed with everything but like the last eight seconds of this damn video and then right there just the amazing happens and the amazing happens really because you can tell that whatever unlatched that damn collar it was holding the collar it wasn't like it fell off believe me i've seen it plenty of times it did not fall off it was taken off 
and you can briefly see it sort of suspended in air. And the dog lost his mind. They was already losing their mind. They was already triggered by something. We just thought it was dogs barking again. I did anyways. But the end of the video, you can tell why they were barking and you can tell why that dog freaked out. An amazing video. It's physically touching things. You might want to think about moving. Next up, Fraser Boys. Hey. We know that they do genetic experiments. I'm not going to go as far as to call this an alien. I'm not gonna go as far as to call this any type of sea creature, even though I wouldn't be wrong in doing so because they do exist. I mean, there's all kinds of creatures out there. Just me personally, I feel like that this was an experiment that they dumped, honestly, I really do. Uh, it's sad to see, and if it's not, you know, genetic testing gone wrong, either way I go, either way it goes, I guess the question is, what the hell is it? Um, if it is uh, um, just a uh, inhabitant of Earth that just died or was killed, what killed it? Uh, was it a war? Are there plenty of these things out there? Are they fighting for territory down there the same way that we fight for stuff up here? Or again, did the scientists just figure that, you know, it would get ate if they dumped it in a body and that's just how they wanted to dispose of it? Last but not least, positive.hope. No E. We've all seen planes fly, you know, through the moon and it create a shadow. We've seen it just like we've seen it during the, during the sunlight as well. I mean, we've all seen those shadows. We've never, in a sense, we've noticed it, of course, but an extreme reaction, I, I would say no, not necessarily, you know, maybe cool or something like that, but not the kind of reaction that this entire block had. They was already, I would like to know maybe the 10 to 30 seconds before this happened because everybody was already on high alert for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know what was going on before that shadow just blacked out everything, which is another thing. It just, again, we've all seen and felt the shadow of a plane and did that seem like a plane to you because it didn't to me it just just didn't seem like it was normal that didn't seem like a typical shadow that I'm used to and again the entire block felt the same way it wasn't normal to them either and if it's not normal to them, it's definitely not normal to me. Another great week. Can you believe it's been four weeks? It's been an entire month that we have been doing this Patronus 5. It's unbelievable. One month down, infinite more to go. Keep them coming. Appreciate y'all. Buy stuff from the store. It's open. There's something for everybody. Holidays is coming up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell. Appreciate y'all, man. Keep them coming, as usual.